So TLDR for this video, once you graduate college, everything is a race against time. And what I mean by race against time is that you either decide to be self-employed or you decide that you're gonna be a corporate ladder guy and you're gonna stay and you're gonna find a job and you're gonna find a company to retire with. If you choose to go with the corporate route, as soon as you jump in your career, you should be looking for ways to make as much money as possible and put yourself in a position where you are not expendable whatsoever. Because as you get older, it gets a lot harder to switch jobs. And remember, switching jobs is how you make the biggest salary gains. If you choose to go the company route and you wanna retire with a company, you better hope that company appreciates you and not just on the surface, not with a birthday cake, not with a card, not with a, we appreciate our employees. You better have a, like one-on-ones with the CEO type deal. Ageism is a real thing. As you move up a company, the company is always going to consider, do we really need to pay you that much? Or could we hire some hungry college graduate willing to take no money and work 100 hours a week for us that could probably do 85% of your job? Yeah, you might have that 15% advantage, but is that worth the extra 100K they're paying you because you've been there 30 years? Most likely not. The first 20 years of your work life are gonna be pretty flexible, pretty easy to get a new job, pretty easy to hop around, eh, no big deal. But for, for, from the 45-ish mark to the when you retire, you better hope that you don't lose that job. Or if you do, you better hope that your connections are very good. And you know a guy who knows a guy that can get you a job at the same amount of money. That is why it's a race against time. As soon as you graduate college, you have to decide, okay, do I wanna take this 20 year risk where I sit with one company and just hope that I'm needed because if I lose my job right now, it's gonna be so difficult. Or do I wanna go the self-employed route? What can happen is if you're not aware of this and you're not thinking about this, you just get older and you get older and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I wanna, I wanna do a new industry, but you do it at like 45. There are college kids who will take less money than you and work harder than you. Your life and its amount of money needed to keep your life, your older life, more matured life going is probably more expensive because you've worked your way up to get more money than someone that's in college that was that's recently broke and they're just happy to not eat ramen noodles every single day. 20 years in an industry you hate and then you wanna start over again, it's just gonna be so difficult. All of those years in the industry you hated could have been spent at a risk for you to do your own thing. But those are the two choices that you have in life. You either be a company yes man, or you say, you know what, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna try to figure this out myself. And you might work a lot more than you would at a job, because I know I do, but I don't have to worry about someone saying, Josh, you're too old, Josh, you have kids, Josh, you want too much money. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. My boss told me that they were being looked at very seriously for acquisition, which sounds nice, which really, it sounds good. Like, oh, we're gonna be bought by a big company and we're gonna have all these extra resources and funds and we're gonna be able to hire all the people that we were missing to be able to pick up all this extra work that we can't afford to hire people to do. It's, it'll be great, but no, that's not, that's not what it means. What you have to remember is that the goal of small companies are to, are to be bought out, usually. I mean, not all companies end up this way. Some companies start small and end up like giants like Amazon or Google or whatever, but a majority of the companies get bought out. And they get bought out for a multitude of reasons. They get bought out because they like the way that the company is being run, but more often than not, they get bought out by other companies that just want that technology, but don't have the time or want to spend the money to build it. So what they do is they buy a technology and then they fire everybody and they roll that technology in. Um, Google does this a lot with companies. They'll just buy out a technology that they don't feel like building and then fire everybody. Typically in an acquisition, you might get to stay for a year or so. Usually they keep the CEO around for a year or two. They don't want people to freak out. They don't want people to think that they're gonna lose their job. Just be on the lookout if you, if you know that your company's gonna get bought out or you have like a hint that it's gonna be acquired and you don't have any equity, be aware that you probably won't have a job. Or if you do, it will be very temporary, so there's no chaos or anything like that. In the meanwhile, while the official transition to becoming whatever the bigger company is. So again, while you're working your way up through corporate, I would not work at a startup for very long unless you really believe in its mission or if you have enough equity so that someday if and when it gets acquired, that, that could pay off for you. But again, nine out of 10 startups fail 
So if you wanna get your foot in the door, a startup is a great place to go. But if you wanna retire, unfortunately, it's usually the bigger companies because they're not the ones being bought, they're the ones buying other companies. You need to hope that when you find that company, your salary is something you could be okay retiring with because again, like I said, you're not gonna get big raises anymore. You're just gonna get your annual inflation negation, yep. I guess I would call it. Spend those first few years out of college or spend those first few years in your career really trying to iron out, is this what I want? Because if you work for 15 years and you decide that's not the right industry, you're gonna have to start over and have to build up 15 more years in that industry. That's 15 years that you could have spent building your own business. On top of all of that, you're constantly competing with more and more people entering the workforce, willing to work for cheaper, willing to work a lot longer, and that's something you should keep in mind. Short little video for today. If it's been helpful, it's been an eye opener, let me know. Hit thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Click the bell if you wanna see more of my videos, get notified when they're launched. And I have some stuff down in the description if you're interested, but just some food for thought. Anyways, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Yo, I love snowstorms so much. Like, I can't even explain. These dogs, like, look, look at this dog in his natural habitat. He was born. You were made for this moment, dude. Like, if he walks too far out there in the snow, he just disappears. All right, go get the squirrel. All right, go get, go get him. Look, there's all kinds of squirrels out there. They're crazy squirrels.